The International Code for the Safe Carriage of Grain in Bulk, Grain Code, is a mandatory set of regulations adopted by IMO to ensure the stability and safety of ships transporting bulk grain. It sets international standards for how grain is loaded, how ship stability is calculated, and how grain is secured to prevent dangerous shifting that can cause a ship to capsize. Key requirements include issuing a document of authorization for each ship, mandating a detailed grain loading manual, and establishing minimum stability criteria to maintain safety during the voyage. Background of the Grain Code The International Grain Code was adopted by IMO in 1991. It became mandatory under SOLAS Chapter 6 since January 1994. The purpose of the code is to provide an international standard for the safe carriage of grain in bulk. It applies to all ships, regardless of size, that are engaged in carrying bulk grain and fall under Part C of SOLAS Chapter 6. The term grain encompasses a variety of commodities, including wheat, maize, corn, oats, rye, barley, rice, pulses, seeds, and their processed forms that exhibit similar behavior to natural grain. The code detailed three loading patterns for grain, full hold, trimmed ends, full hold, untrimmed ends, and partly filled hold. For partly filled holds, the grain surface was assumed to be trimmed to an even surface, including the spaces under the deck, known as ends. This trimming often omitted, leading to larger actual voids and grain shifting moments than what was calculated, thus increasing risk. Self-trimming holds, tapered holds that naturally funnel grain into the corners are ideal, as they limit voids. Initial GM, a minimum initial metacentric height, GM, of 0.3 meters is required to ensure sufficient initial stability. Grain shift, when the vessel rolls, grain can shift, creating a healing moment that is calculated based on the distance the grain has shifted. Residual dynamic stability. The stability diagram must show a net area between the riding arm curve and the healing arm curve of at least 0.075 M radians up to an angle of 40 degrees or the angle of flooding. Angle of heel. The angle of heel caused by the grain shift should not exceed 12 degrees or the angle at which the deck edge is immersed, whichever is the lesser. Documents to be carried on board. For a ship to operate in accordance with the International Grain Code, several critical documents must be on board. A document of authorization is required for every ship loaded with grain in bulk under the code's regulations. This document serves as evidence that the ship is capable of complying with the code's requirements. A copy of the document of authorization, grain loading stability data, and associated plans must be carried on board so that the master can produce them for inspection. A grain loading manual refers to a ship-specific document required by IMO, provides instructions and calculations for ensuring the stability of a vessel carrying bulk grain cargoes. It details how to perform calculations for volumetric healing moments, VHM, in both filled and partially filled compartments, ensuring compliance with stability criteria and preventing catastrophic grain shifts. Key components include information on trimming, permissible heel angles, and the use of graphical or tabular data to determine VCHEM and other stability parameters, often utilizing an approved grain loading booklet from recognized organization. It also includes the ship particulars, light ship displacement, and vertical center of gravity, KG. The vessel's onboard loading computer must be approved. The grain loading manual and the detailed stability information it contains must be approved by the administration. Amendments to the Grain Code These amendments are scheduled to enter into force on January 1, 2026, and will be applicable to new buildings with keels laid on or after the state. The core of these amendments is the introduction of a fourth permissible loading pattern, partly filled hold, in way of the hatch opening, ends untrimmed. This new pattern specifies that if the final grain filling level in a cargo hold is within the perimeters of the hatch combing, measured from the lower level of the hatch and beams upwards, the ends of the hold do not need to be trimmed. Instead, the grain surface is assumed to form a natural slope, calculated as a 30-degree slope, originating from either the hatch end beam or from feeding holes in the end girder, depending on the filling height. Implementing this new loading pattern necessitates new calculations for grain shift moment and volume curves. 
These curves must be provided for filling levels ranging from the bottom of the end girder to the top of the hatch combing and must be included in the grain loading manual or an addendum. Thank you for watching the video. For more marine topics, please subscribe the channel. Please help us with your valuable feedback to improve the contents.